starting your day right. <laughs> Sometimes I abbreviate them and just call them starting your day. Or speak on. Oh, hey, I like this little tree here. You know, it's kind of cute. It, uh, it's got some new growth and <laughs> it got miswatered and then it got misplaced in the sunlight and developed some really weird growth. <laughs> Doesn't that sound familiar? But now it's beginning to come back, you know, and it's kind of cute. Interesting. I enjoy seeing what I call the plantings of the Lord because it makes me think of, <laughs> bluntly, all the different people I encounter on the internet and meet in real life that as varied and as wide a variety and as peculiarly different that all these different plants have certain needs, so too I think of people the same way, is that God created them all with unique and distinctive abilities and capabilities, but he also created in them, and the circumstances of their life has caused them to have different needs and different, oh, possibilities of uh, places to be used that only God knows best what's in store for each individual life. And a lot of times we need to recognize that and to let Him be the Lord of all and for us to just be servants of all in the sense of helping the person find and develop their relationship with God so they can go on with what God would have them to do. It's easy to be a supervisor and to direct people. It's easy to be a manager and to manage people. It's easy to be a boss and to tell people what to do. It's easy to be a politician and to think that you represent people. But you know, the hardest thing of all is to trust in... The hardest thing of all is to trust in the Lord for someone else and to let God be in control of them. That is what a Christian should be. <laughs> I pray that's what we all do, because that's hard to do. I hadn't read this ahead of time. It's funny, here's God talking about the same thing, I think. Follow God's leading. <laughs> oh, Lord, you and me, we know, Lord. Roll your works upon the Lord. Commit and trust them wholly to Him, and He will cause your thoughts to become agreeable to His will. And so shall your plans be established and succeed. Proverbs 16.3 Trying to figure everything out before you obey God will steal your joy. God doesn't have to answer you when you ask, why God, why? Trust means that you won't always have the answers when you want them. Sometimes you just have to get to the other side of the situation to see the whole picture of what God is doing in your life. God may be trying to separate you from some influence in your life that is keeping you from receiving the better plan he has for you. He may be pruning you to encourage new, healthier growth. See John 15, 1-8. Use uncertain times to demonstrate your faith by trusting Him. You know, that's so appropriate to what a Christian should be when they fall into hard times and circumstances that they don't understand, is that we should look foolish in the midst of trials and tribulations because we have a peace and we have a joy and we have a confidence that we are not ashamed because God uses those circumstances in our life to work in eternal glory for our benefit. Now some people say, well, I want to see it now. I want to have it now. I want to get it now. Let me be the first to say something to you maybe you've never heard before. No. <laughs> That's why we have God. If God chooses to say no to you, you don't have an option. He is God. If God chooses to say yes to you, praise the Lord. <laughs> if you decide to argue and debate and whine and stomp your feet and yell and scream like me, <laughs> then guess what? You're going to learn a lot along the way. And if you persist in it, guess what? You might have possibly some unique experiences with God that maybe someone else doesn't. But when I wanted to know and I didn't understand, I wasn't so mad about wanting to have what I wanted 
but I thought that what was in my perspective was correct until God showed me a better way. And once I understood that, wow, my whole life made sense. And believe me, my life doesn't make much sense to anybody. <laughs> but and that's why I call myself the Jesus Gypsies, because, boy, it sure sometimes looks a little strange on the outside, but I know on the inside, you know, hey, God was there. <laughs> that's all I can say. And I look back and smile over it over the years as how God has worked out all those unique circumstances to bring about his salvation in people's lives or to touch them in a certain way or to help them to discover that God is real. And for that, I'm grateful. Sometimes I, like you, look back and think, oh, if only I had been, you know, this or that or the other thing, you know, whatever this or that or the other thing may be in your case. But in my generation, so many people went on to become big, and most of them that I know of are pastors of some mega ministry, and they've gone on to be some big, oh, I don't know, either evangelist or teacher or prophet or reacher or whatever, doesn't matter, that, you know, you, you kind of go, boy, Lord, you know, I wonder what it would have been like, and then you realize, what am I thinking? <laughs> Not a chance. <laughs> no way, Lord. <laughs> So we need to trust in the Lord that he knows what's best for us, whether it be a planting of the Lord and we're put into a peculiar pot and he proves us, or whether we have a certain need that he needs to keep us small so that we're a precious jewel in his sight. Whatever it may be, you have to learn to trust in the Lord with all your heart, meaning not to your own understanding, in all of your ways, acknowledging him, and then you'll know, and because you'll know, you'll find that he is directing your path. He does. He will. He promised. It's going to happen. Whether you can admit this or not, with or without your permission, God is going to steer you. <laughs> and it's easier to be spoken to and told the right way to go than to have the circumstances force you in the path you should go. Today, in your devotions and emotions and studies and reading the Word, hear His voice. Listen to him, do what he says, and how he applies it to your life.